shoulder width apart and we'll get into some gentle squats. Not full range yet, we just want to start to get some movement in those joints. Try to go a little bit deeper. And three more. Two and three. Like jogging on the spot or just walking up and down if you like. Rolling your shoulders as you go. Hold into a stretch. That's it, get a stretch through. Pushing up back to the middle. Do two more each side. And hold a little stretch on this side. Keep pressing forward. And stretch through. Back up to the middle. Just jogging through again. You'll see that my legs are starting to get a bit faster. The range of movement I'm getting is a little bit more. We're gradually going to increase as we go through this warm up. <coughs> In five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go forwards and backwards now. Just gentle range, making sure that that knee is not coming forward over the toe. And stay down here for a stretch with the hip flexor. When we do this stretch, what we're aiming to do is push that hip forward. So let's get in a little bit deeper. Take the elbow that's closest to that the leg that's bent and pop it down in front. Now you start to get into the great region. That arm up and around. You can do a little stretch in the back of the leg. Down, gently bring that leg up. We'll continue with those lunges. We're going deep and full range now. I'll draw both angles. the other leg forward. Just remember which one it was that you had forward the first time around. And again, hip flips a stretch means we push that hip forward. You should be feeling it all the way at the top of your leg. Get the arm that's closest to the leg and pop it down. Don't worry about if you can't get all the way down, that's fine. At this point, just go as far as you can where you feel a nice stretch, but definitely not too much pain. do um, much more static stretching and we'll hold all those stretches for longer. That's it. Try to get those knees up. We should be getting warm by now. 
plank rope should be going through the roof. Knees to elbows. If you're doing the low impact version, you are still going fast and you're work walking those arms and legs together. So 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Just a little stretch out of our quads. Big muscles at the front of the leg. Knees together. If you need to hold on to something, hold on to something. Otherwise, pushing your knee down directly to the ground. <coughs> if you can, open up through the chest at the same time, just by reaching your arm out. Really, pulling that from the first to the bottom. That leg over, if you can balance, balance into a stretch for the butt. So you should be feeling that through this region. <coughs> Sinking right into it. And again, grab onto something if you need to. Or even do the lying down version, which is just like this. One stretches. extra tight muscles, just make sure um, you are stretching them out a little bit more, rolling them perhaps, and if you don't know how to use a roller or a tennis ball to do any form of rolling, just ask me or a particular Facebook page and find the next step for you. Yep, jogging through again. We might go into some deeper range squats. Just 10 of them. Three, four, five, This one, stay down. Walk the feet out. We're going to try and push our elbows into the knees. Don't worry if you can't get the full range. And just pushing the knees out. And again, you'll feel that in this region here. Hands down, walk your feet together. Keeping those legs bent, you put the hands underneath the feet. Otherwise, just a spine down the chins. I want you to keep it up. Keep your spine, and then keep it up at the root. And at the same point, you're slightly extending the leg. And then not to keep it still slightly through the knees, but you'll feel that in your back, as well as the hands from the muscles at the back of your leg. Sink into it. Deep breaths. rotating around. Gentle to start, so not full extension of that shoulder. Get them a little bit warm, warm and mobile. You'll know when you can start to go a little bit further. That's it. Three, two, and one. Ready to go. Lunge just to demonstrate our knee 
does not come over the foot like this. We have it straight up and down into the lunge. So we're doing one lunge with our left foot forward. We're going to a squat, deep squat, pushing through those heels. A lunge on our right again, and one jump squat. So I'll take you through that, and I'll go straight into the eight inch one to push ups. Lunge, squat, lunge, and one jump squat. Soft landing, run backwards. Go lunge, squat, lunge. This time, two jump squats. One. And two, still stay deep on that squat. Right, we've got three now. Legs will start to burn pretty quickly with this one. Keep that chest tall. Running backwards. Four of them. Step number one, we are doing prisoner squats. 
Prisoner just means hand behind the head. It's all going to be in our legs. We didn't do enough of that with an underscore drum sequence. If you can't touch behind your head, just place your hands near your ears. We are doing a deep squat, chest up and pushing through those heels. We do 14 of those and then we do 14 push-ups. Whatever option you're doing on your knees is an option. Obviously coming in and doing it in that pattern as well. So I'll start you off. We do 14. The pyramid, we're actually starting from the bottom, the most number, 14 of each, 12 of each, and then 10 of each. And then we get to do our cardio last. So let's do it guys. 14 squats, shoulders back, core switched on. We are sinking through. 14 of them. Nice and deep. And then we come in, 
to our glute bridge. Feet up, onto a step if you choose, core switched on, shoulders black back. We are lifting our bottom off the ground, really squeezing through the bottom to lift up. So we're ready team, 14 of them. Let's do it. Remember if you've got any, this is causing you any discomfort or you've got any knee issues, just do a static lunge for me. Even do a static lunge and hold the weight. That's it. That's six. Oops. And seven. Chest up. Shoulders back. Ten. Eleven. Straight away, limited breaks, feet on the edge, lifting up, hips to the, to the sky. Shoulders, feet together to make it a little bit harder, and pulling back those hands. 
We'll do 14 at each side. We ready? Rolling shoulders, core switched on, and let's do it. Just thinking about the positioning of the legs. Neutral position. We are coming 
up and rotating around. That's one. So we do 12 of those. Then we are doing 12 leg lowers. Get your legs into whatever position you're comfortable with. Straight or tabletop. The floor needs to be switched on. Extending out to wherever you're feeling comfortable. And again, if you want to extend yourself, you're bringing the upper body up as well. And then we are doing 12 of those each side. Coming around into our plank position. Hands, elbows directly on the shoulders. And we are gently lifting one leg and then the other. Again, if that's too challenging, just come to your knees and try to slightly lift one leg and then the other. Just keep that core switched on. Again, I'll do the 12s with you. Let's just do it. Climb the rope. Core switched on, pelvic floor on, zip it up, zip it up, shoulders relax. One, two, really try to reach around, get into those obliques, three, four, Coming around for our plank. 
fillet into the goods big butt. So lean down into it.
work with your triceps or biceps, stretch them out as well today. So that's a good tricep stretch. Those out. You can either do the running pose 